up what's good youtube i'm visual and welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing part two of reacting to your hot takes so as y'all know i have these community posts and there are different polls on different things like the best call of duties best guns best game modes and recently i've been asking what people's hot takes and call of duties were meaning give me an opinion of yours that is different from others don't be saying nothing like you know Black Ops 2 is the best, that's not a hot take. Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty, it's not a hot take. I need a real one. And like I said on stream, if you haven't, you know, check out my streams down in the channel. I said I was gonna make a video reacting to your hot takes and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So before we get started, make sure you go ahead and like, hit that sub button, hit that alert bell so you never miss when I'm posting another video and let's get it straight into it. God damn! All right, so as y'all can see, I got the post here up on the screen. Yeah, y'all see Belize over there. Ah. All right, let's go. So 46, golly, I think this had more, this had more votes than the first one. So Call of Duty Hot Takes Part 2, post your COD Hot Takes below, and I'll make a Part 2 reaction on if it's valid or not. So that first one, the first video I recorded, it wasn't really too many crazy hot takes in that one. I think the craziest one I saw was um, IW is a top five COD of all time what that's a terrible take that's not a hot take it's a terrible take so here i got mine these are more that i just whipped up for the poll they're not really takes because like i said in the first one this video is not about me it's about y'all you know what i'm saying so post your comments below if you weren't if you weren't in this one post your comments below i'll look at some of those too but um the hottest one of mine is warzone is better than blackout a lot of people think that blackout is better than warzone because it was faster paced the map was a little bit smaller the movement might have been a little cleaner I think Warzone's better. I think they just capitalized on it more. But if Blackout was able to be like, worked on more, it would have been better. It would have been better for sure. That's my opinion. But if y'all are here for my shorts and you already know, I be using memes all the time. That's my favorite way to rank things. I like that. I like that. So I got, I got my boy Knuckles. You see him? You see him right here? I got my boy Knuckles here. He's going, he's going to either approve or deny some of these takes. I know y'all are faded. We got 418 comments. Four, that's, that's crazy. Let's go through them. Let's go through them. Cold War honestly had the best sniping feel out of any COD for a very long time. Hey, hey Knuckles, go ahead and approve this one. Approved. Yeah, I can agree with that. Cold War sniping was cool. I like the snipers in that game. And I like, you know, I say all the time, Cold War is the closest to a Black Ops 2 remaster as we will ever get. Period. Point blank, period. So even the, the way sniping felt in that game, it was really clean. It felt really nostalgic, but it still felt kind of fresh because the movement was like the slide cancel and all that stuff. So I can agree with that. We can approve that. What, what, uh, appreciate you, Nick Mellon. Hold on. Hold this light. Hold this light. Specialists are underrated as... If you never abused a ripper or gravity spikes and you've never been happy. Approved. I'm not mad at that. I, I really think specialists had a place in Call of Duty, especially in the Black Ops uh, franchise. It made everything more exciting, especially if you were watching people play, right? If they're going for a crazy streak and then they just hit the gravity spikes to get four more. This is huge. This is huge. Damon Volo with the slam. With the slam! Like you can't, you you literally can't beat that. I miss specialists. Without blackout, there would be no war zone. I said possibly to that. I mean, it's it's definitely true, but you also can't deny that they're working on war zone before they, you know, before blackout. I think I think blackout was more of a test run as far as what would BR look like in Call of Duty. But because Modern Warfare 19 was 2019 was the next Call of Duty that came out, they were working on that already. They were that was already in the works. Blackout was kind of a guinea pig, so. I don't know. Black Ops 4 had one of the best multiplayers, movement, gunplay, camos, and pretty much everything was done so well. Yo, Knuckles. Approved. Best multiplayers, I, it might be top five. It, it might be top five, at least, or top seven, possibly. You know what I mean? Like, the movement was really good. The gunplay was cool. The camos were amazing in that game. I just think Black Ops 4 suffered a really weird time like it came after world war ii and that was the you know regardless on how you feel you gotta admit the game was dull it was old it was it just felt dusty and crusty and rusty what drake said Damn, it's crusty musty dusty rusty like that's the only thing that i can think about when it comes to world war ii but black ops 4 you know if it if it would have came out after black ops 3 like right after i feel like it would have been right in line 
with where the Call of Duty like lore and where the world was and to which I would agree with that point. But, you know, I can still approve that. I, I, I like that take. I'm not mad at it. World at War has the greatest COD campaign out of all of them. Now that's a hot take. Yo, Knuckles, real quick. No. Not a good one, though. I'ma like it. I'ma like it because I can respect it. You know what I'm saying? It's all about respect. But War That War does. I don't, that co that campaign was very boring. I remember. I remember getting that game from Blockbuster, right? And at the time, I don't think I had Xbox Live, so I think I, all I was doing was playing the campaign or like playing with my cousins in in local. But. I just remember how boring that campaign was. Seeing Reznov was cool. Shout out Reznov, that's the OG. But like, nah, I gotta disagree with that one. Per, 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 per personally, you know? Black Ops 4 was the pinnacle of skill gap for boots on the ground cods. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <clears throat> Knuckles, what we thinking? Approved. See, Black Ops 4, uh, pinnacle for skill. I, I feel like Modern Warfare 2019, if you knew how to abuse the movement, your skill, you you are just levels above a different, you're in a different skill stratosphere. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like Black Ops 4 was the, the perfect grounded, like perfect foundation of what skill gap should be. You know what I mean? There was certain movement techniques that you could master and then, you know, it increased the skill gap that way, as well as like the gunplay. But for Modern Warfare 2019, if we're talking about overall skill gap, you had the guns were a little bit harder to use because there was more realistic recoil, different recoil patterns and things of that nature. And then you have the movement, which is like, movement in 2019 is literally the worst. That's, that might, oh no, Vanguard takes the spot. But slide cancel Call of Duty is the worst. That's the worst movement in Call of Duty history. So I agree with, you know, shout out Joseph. I agree what he said in the sense that it was the perfect mesh of what skill gap should be in a Call of Duty for boots on the ground, Kyle. So I agree with that. Shout out, shout, shout out to you. Kyle World War II has a top five all time campaign. It's up there. It's definitely up there. As much as I didn't like the multiplayer in that game, the campaign was probably the most cinematic the one that felt actually like a movie that they could make it into a movie they just you know world war ii has just been done so much and you know in a different mediums you know you got different games that did world war ii different movies it's just tried and true so i feel like they didn't deviate from they didn't try to do anything original they did a good job so i, I agree with that statement but hey knuckles what we thinking approved yeah these takes are kind of lukewarm right now but you know, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Had 400 some comments, we'll find something. World War II had the best supply drop system and it needs to return along with headquarters. I'm not even gonna try to read that name, but I'll read the last one, Crimson Ruler 975. I think, if anything, I would say Black Ops 3 might have had the best supply drop system because it was all cosmetic. It was all cosmetic and then there were certain camos and stuff. I, you know, I can't recall any off the top of my head, but there were certain camos that if you got it out of a supply, a supply drop, it just felt cooler, but it didn't feel like you had a competitive edge over anybody. So I would put either Advanced Warfare or Black Ops 3 as far as like the top supply drop system. But headquarters should return. Can you imagine what the servers would be like though? You can't even run a Warzone game without your game crashing, especially if you're on PC, you know what I'm talking about. Like, headquarters was cool, but it has to be platform, it has to be contained within a platform. You can't, you know, you can't open it up with everybody because COD servers are trash. All right, so I think that's all the hot takes for this community post, but I do have short, so I'm gonna go to those comments and see what people are talking about. All right, so this guy says, Warzone killed COD multiplayer. Approved. I 1 million percent agree with that statement. Warzone shifted the focus between that arena style that, you know, that us as legacy Call of Duty players, you know, appreciate. But at the same time, there's this whole new influx of Call of Duty players that literally just love Warzone. And if they play multiplayer, it's because they want to level up a gun to use it in Warzone. So I can't sit here and be like, Warzone definitively killed COD multiplayer. I think it just kind of shifted how people look at COD multiplayer. Whereas, you know, it used to be the top game mode, but now it's not, you know, it's Warzone and then you have arena multiplayer and then whatever that third game mode is, if it's special ops or zombies or whatever. But I think it just shifted that dynamic. I do think it killed it in the sense that it doesn't seem like the developers care about it, but I don't think it killed it in the sense that people don't play it anymore. I think just the overall support for multiplayer has died to which I agree with. 
Warzone killing COD multiplayer. So here's what SX said. IW is a top five COD of all time. No. Bro, what are you talking about, man? But look at users talking about, no, you should make your own original content instead of writing on the coattails of others. Got you, bro. You made it in the video. LMAO! Goofy. And I'ma like it so you can see it's stupid. Vanguard isn't as bad as people says it is. And all COD streamers are terrible human beings. And, and, 95% sure they cheat. You know Victoria, Victoria Ibarra, Victor Ibarra. I don't know what you're talking about. I just don't know what that means. But you know, respectfully. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Infinite Warfare is the best COD since Black Ops 2. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'ma end the video. I don't know what Dolphins talk about. That's that's that that's that that's a hot take. That's a hot 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 take. I don't, I don't know nothing about that. But if y'all did enjoy this style of video, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you leave a like, hit the sub button, hit the bell so you never miss when I'm posting another video. Just hit 4,000 subscribers. My next goal is 5K. I don't know when I'm gonna hit it. But if you wanna be a part of that journey, like I said, hit the sub button. I really would appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next stream or in the next video, in the next short. I'll see y'all somewhere. But y'all be easy, bro. Love y'all. Peace.